Hi guys, uh, okay today I'm going to do a requested video by Asmana81 I think her name is, so thank you very much and she gave me a whole list of things that I can do so I'm, I really appreciate that but I decided to do um, the one that she wanted me to do a bag collection and I thought I'd do that because I actually bought a bag yesterday as well so kind of fits in with the theme so I'm going to do that now I have a few bags, I'm a girly girl, I love bags, so I'm not showing you all of them but I'm showing you my key pieces, the ones that I really truly value and I do take care of all of them, be them high end, be them low end, however I got them, I really really am very precise and very um, very caring towards my bags, I never put them on the floor and I'll always like clean them afterwards and yeah, they last longer. They, I always get compliments from them because I keep them in con good condition and I think that's the way you should treat bags. So yeah, okay so one of them that you've already seen before in my video of what's in my bag or what's in my handbag, whatever, is my Louis Vuitton, my Speedy and I really really like this. The only problem is if you are looking to buy a Louis Vuitton bag and I wish people had told me before is really don't try and go for the cream ones because because they really um, really catch the dyes of other things like if you have a Zara uh, you'll know their Zara bags are navy blue and that colour can rub off on here or if you have dark jeans it really is kind of silly I think for Louis Vuitton to you know make it so vulnerable their materials but you know it does come off with like a white rubber or an eraser if you're in America and but you just have to be really very very careful with them and I just suggest buying the darker the darker prints and stuff like that but it's just like one big massive hole and then um, it's got the little thing to put your wallet on and has the little zip thing so I really like this it just looks so classic it's beautiful yep that's one um, then I have this one and I've had this for several years now this is from Jennifer Lopez and, um, you know, I really like it. The material is just fantastic. Inside is great. It has tissues and receipts, but don't look at that. <laughs> um, it has, you know, like the little pockets, the middle parts, this side, and then a little bit. And then at the back it has a zip. And it's just very ladylike. And I love my little lady handbags. Um, and so this is this. And you can wear it on your shoulder as well and keep it on your wrist. And yeah, it's just it's just really cute, and um, I always get compliments on this. And I've had this for several years now, and I've looked after it very well, so I'm very proud of that. Then I have a very cute one. Um, it's Fendi. I got this <laughs> from my boyfriend one year, and um, it's just so sweet. Now, don't be fooled by the size because inside is quite deep. Can you see that? And it fits everything. It fits everything. You know, first of all, I thought, oh, it looks like a little clutch bag with, like, little handles. But, oh, no. It pretty much fills most of my stuff. And I have big, hard glasses cases and wallets and, you know, I carry unnecessary stuff, too. But it all fits in there. And this is very sweet. It's like an army green background. And then it has, like, a, a light, like, a sort of brown and a pink... Um, dusky pink. Actually, this pink is exactly like uh, the colour of my NARS Pillow Talk lip gloss that I have. And so that's kind of cute. And then it has like, you know, the gold here and here. Ugh. Yeah. And, yeah, I really like this one. It's such a beautiful colour and it's such a nice complimentary bag um, in the autumn, winter. You know when you're wearing like brown polo tops or something and you want that splash of colour but you don't want it to be like really bright in the autumn. So this is just kind of, gives you that pop of colour without being too like over, you know, like dramatic or something. But yeah, so that's this one. I love this one very much and it comes in a handy pouch thing as well keep it clean and I always suggest that if you do have bags that come with pouches always keep them in there you know it stops them from getting scratched and whatnot and then I have my Taos bag Taos is a Spanish brand um, I know it's quite big in America now and in London um, we have one in Oxford Street I won't tell you who got this for me because you'll all probably guess <laughs> so this is 
this and I love it. It's so pretty. It's also a very ladylike handbag. It has the Taos logo on it, which is this gold bear. And inside is cool because it's lime green. And I like this one because it's copper compartmentalized and I'm very OCD like this even if I don't have a bag that has compartments I'll put things in one end of the bag and put things in the other end of the bag and hope that they stay there but of course they will never do really but it's okay and so it has this front bit and it's just like an empty just an empty compartment then it has the middle bit and this is very good because it has a zip so it's safe to keep your wallet and stuff like that in you know you don't want them flying about here and there so it has this compartment and then it has a little zipper here so that's handy so I keep my wallet and like my phone and everything like very personal very you know things that you don't want to lose in here because it's the safest place to put them and sorry I have stuff in here and then it has this back one and this is, has the typical you know the pen holder and phone holder and the extra little compartment and yes this is cream as well so you have to be very, very careful. Um, I really, after these two cream bags, I'm not going to buy another one because I'm just too scared. And as I said, I'm quite OCD about these things, and um, I just don't like any marks. And these are, these are ones that can easily grab a mark. And it's also embossed with the word Taos in it, so that's really sweet. So it has that sort of detail. If you'd like me to do another what's in my handbag? I like, I love doing them. So um, I've done one before, and I. I enjoy it so I can do that for you so just give me a request and I'll do it and my latest one is a Ted Baker bag and now in England people might have heard of Ted Baker it's a very nice brand in America there is a Ted Baker store but I, I know it's not as common but it's very chic um, a little bit on the pricey end but um, I think it's worth it for the quality and if you'd like to buy just a few nice pieces I think it's very worth it and this was on sale that I found yesterday. It wasn't an amazing sale, but it was okay. Um, it was £126. And was it 20 or 30% off? And it was 20% off, and so it went down to 96 And I loved it because of the colour, because I don't have any... This colour. My camera was slipping. So this is it. Isn't this fun? It's. I wish you could really see it properly. But you can tell it's sort of like a dusky purpley grey. And then if you move it in the light, it catches different colours like gold and sort of greeny colours. And it's beautiful. It's it's a nice big bag. Like massive, but nice and big. So it's the same like this. But this is the cool bit. You see this? Ah it becomes a handle. So that's nice. I really like that idea. And here it just has the says Ted Baker on here. And it also comes with a handy dandy chain. So you can keep it as a shoulder bag. Because I never buy bags which have like shoulder straps. I don't know why. I always I always like my mum always says I'm like the Miss Prissy, you know, I walk around with a bag in my hand, you know, I just I find it comfortable, I'm used to it. But it will also be quite nice to one day have, you know, <laughs> not hurt my um, hands so much and just have this on my shoulder so you can have it like this and also I like it the fact that it just falls here so when you're holding it like this it kind of adds like a nice detail you see that um, another thing I like about it is that it has a zip here so it's not just one big compartment you can keep it nice and um, protected and safe so it just has one little zip and then inside it's got a very cool lining and you can see I've got stuff in there already. Just a simple compartment, small zip, a mobile phone holder. It doesn't have a pen holder. It just has the mobile phone. I do it right around. Mobile phone area, but I put it in the bigger one because I have an iPhone. And then um, it has a small one which I put my hand cream and whatnot in. And this is just beautiful. I really like the fact that you can have it both ways and um, if you don't if you want to have it as a shoulder bag these flatten down so it looks part of the bag but if you do want to carry it like this it slides up so I think that's very chic looking and yeah um, I'm going to try it out today <laughs> I'm going to go out shopping so maybe I'll do a haul later so that is my bag collection yeah so I hope you like that and I'll talk to you soon bye